up, Whitey Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Anime Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Diamond No Ace Act 2, Episode 3, titled Blessed by the Baseball Gods. So where we're starting off this week, adaptation-wise, is going to be uh, page 18 of Chapter 4's adaptation of the manga. So without further ado, let's get to it. At the 33 second bar, there's my baby Todoriki. I love him. I'm sorry. I'm going to be fangirling a lot every time I see like Miyuki or Todoriki or Okamura. I'm sorry. It's it, it's just going to happen. You're going to have, you, you guys are going to have to deal with it. <laughs> so we're getting a little bit of extra content, which is really nice because um, what Madhouse is doing, and uh, we got this from Doga with um, uh, with Senko-san, uh, is building off uh, the lore and expanding it, uh, which is I love when um, manga to anime adaptations do that because uh, it gives us a little bit more uh, content to work with, and especially with like dialogue and all that shit. So this is really really nice. So at the one minute three second mark, that's when we get back to uh, the manga canon. Uh, near the end of uh, chapter four's adaptation of the manga. Oh my god, this was awesome. So right before the opening song, we finished chapter four's adaptation of the manga. And oh my god, I really love what Madhouse is doing animation-wise, soundtrack-wise, writing-wise. It's just so freaking amazing. Oh my freaking god. And it's just... The thing that's just really frustrating the hell out of me is that barely anyone's watching it. Like, everyone's saying that Kimetsu no Yaiba is like the best anime of spring 2019. And it's just like, no, you fuckers are wrong. Diamond Ace Act 2 is the best an anime of spring 2019. You motherfuckers are stupid. Ugh, it's just pissing me off so much. Something else I gotta say, like, because I really, really love this opening song so freaking much, is that, like, when I was watching the Kometsu um, no Yaiba opening song, uh, opening, and I was, uh, even though the an I do like the animation sequence and all that shit, like, I was watching it, and I was listening to the, um, the opening song, and I was like, this doesn't feel right. All I, and, like, what kept going through my mind was, like, God damn it, I wish it was like Diamond No Ace Act 2, where the song like just felt right. It was just driving me goddamn nuts when I was watching the Kabetsu no Yaiba opening. And I'm curious for those that are watching both Diamond No Ace Act 2 and Kabetsu no Yaiba, if anyone else felt, uh, felt that way, uh, let me know in the comments section, because I'm really, really curious. God freaking damn it, I'm sorry, I have to say it again. I fucking love this opening so freaking much. This is the best goddamn opening. Oh my god, Madhouse, I love this goddamn opening. Oh my god, it makes me want to cry every time I watch it. I'm probably going to say this every week, how much I love this opening. Oh god, it frustrates me that, like... People are underestimating this series because it's it's a sports series. They're like, oh, it's a sports series. Meh, 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 meh. Sports series suck. Fuck you guys. This series is just goddamn amazing. Fuck. God damn it. I'm sorry. I love this opening so much. Okay. I, now that I got that out of my system, we're getting to chapter uh, five's adaptation uh, of the manga. So let's get to it. Hey, I have to say this right now. The stadium looks goddamn fantastic, as usual. And goddammit, Todoriki looks so freaking awesome. And I love his voice actor so goddamn much. He's just freaking amazing. Madhouse, I really wish you would have done. And this is something that, um, uh, for those of you that were watching uh, Captain Tsubasa 2018, you guys know what I'm talking about, is uh, what David Productions did, and it was really, really cool, was they showed, they had like the player cards, it was like something straight out of FIFA um, and Madden, and they had like the uh, numbers and the position, 
And oh, it was so freaking cool. I really wish Madhouse would have done this. But I, uh, but it is matching the manga, but I just really wish Madhouse would have done this. It would have been so fucking cool. Or like even just shown, um, you know how in, um, when you go to the baseball stadium and they have it like on the board and whatnot, um, on the, uh, on the board and they show like the players on the screen and the position number. Oh, that would have been so cool. But I, I understand what Madhouse is doing. They're doing a really good job with, um, with the attitude. They're just matching the manga. I, I'm totally fine with it, but God damn it. I would have loved if Madhouse would have gone the extra mile. It just would have looked really cool. We got a Nokomura signing at the four minute, like 20, uh, one, 23 second mark. That's my baby. I love Okamura so much. Oh, I just, I want to just get through these fucking chapters already so we can get to my baby. Because I love his freaking dialogue. God freaking damn it. I love this soundtrack so much. And also, Yuki, you look fucking amazing right now. Mm, not gonna lie. Something I gotta mention, because this has been bugging me in Black Clover, um, in regards to uh, facial hair. And usually I fucking, I hate facial hair, but something that bugs me that Studio Periot does, and they get wrong all the fucking time, is Yami's facial hair. And Madhouse has gotten the coach's facial hair down perfectly. And it's just little details like that, that makes a manga to anime adaptation so freaking perfect. And another thing that really bugs me in Black Clover and a lot of manga to anime adaptations in general is they can't get the freaking noses right. And if you look in uh, the manga, if you like compare it to the manga, they get the, the freaking noses right. It's just goddamn perfect. Like, down to the last detail. It's so freaking nice. And it's just goddamn refreshing. And even the the lines in the glasses are perfect. Oh, the only thing that is not matching. Um, I think this is, yeah, the only thing that's not matching line work wise, and I gotta point it out, Madhouse, is the ears. There's a couple of lines missing ear wise but unlike a lot of manga to anime adaptations they look like freaking ears so i'm gonna give you a pass on that i gotta say and this is right before um kuromachi um hits uh, start um starts batting this right before um uh right as hongo is right before he just throws the first pitch something i'm really liking it's kind of i really like the con how madhouse is playing with the lighting it just is so cool because you have like you um when we're at, uh when kuromachi is looking and we're at kuromachi's point of view and we're looking at hongo the light is right behind him and it looks so freaking intimidating it's so awesome and then we when we go back and we look at kuromachi it's um it's dark and there's no light at all it's just like it's you know you know what i mean it looks just it just looks awesome i really love what madhouse is doing it just looks so cool i gotta talk about that five minute like 28 29 second mark when we had like that brief black and white moment <gasps> oh that was so freaking cool oh my god that was awesome that shadowing, and this is at the 5 minute 42, 43 second mark, that shadowing on Hongo's face. Like, what it's like um, below the eye, going from the eyes, and then you see it, like, on this side of his face. And then you got the bright light in the background. Oh, it just looks so freaking nice. The contrast is freaking fantastic. Oh, the other thing I'm really loving when we see um, the catcher catching Hongo's pitches, I love the smoke. Oh, it's just cool. And also the, the, the soundtrack that's going, or the track that's going on right now is just badass as fuck. I swear, Madhouse is just rocking it. And like, it, the one thing I keep thinking as, you know, I'm watching this is like, God damn it, this should have been a One Punch Man. This should have been a One Punch Man season two. And I feel like Madhouse is just like, you see, motherfuckers, we, this is what would have been in <laughs> Punch Man Season 2.
I love the transition um, between uh, for Kuramachi, like between um, his the uh, inner monologue and the flashback at the uh, six minute uh, nineteen um, mi uh, sixteen minute nineteen second mark and twenty second mark. Because what happens is like the screen or the background goes dark, and then it just go transitions into the uh, flashback, and it just is oh it's so perfect it's such a smooth transition i love it so much and again something that we had um that we've been having um i think since episode one that like when um the, in this case when kuramachi is focused um it, that like every everything is just darkened and it's the we have the spotlight on Hongo and Kuramachi and it's just so freaking cool and damn it I need to I swear to god I need to buy this soundtrack it is just badass as hell and I'm trying so hard and I'm very curious if you if you guys are um too um I'm trying so hard not to headbang right now I want to headbang to this soundtrack right now it's really hard to not headbang to this Ooh. The six minute, 38 second mark. Oh, I love this color palette. That is so freaking cool. Oh, nice shit, Madhouse. And then we get that close up of Kuramachi's face and this is between the six minute, 41 and 42 second mark that I'm talking about. We get the close up of Kuramachi's face and then we get the close up of uh, the ball and the glove. And it's so, and the color palette's so perfect. And this is what I mean by utilizing the animation. And I got re and I got really frustrated. Kimetsu, I, I know I'm gonna be talking about Kimetsu no Yaiba a lot because God damn it, that anime is starting to it has been pissing me off. Um, with the, um, utilizing the animation for facial expressions and and shit like that, because like and also uh, backgrounds and all that shit too, and color palettes because you, it like the the blue that we're um that's being used right now symbolizes that oh shit moment that like that realization like i am fucked and it's so cool again something we're seeing that um that we didn't get in the manga and i really like this i love that madhouse is doing this is we're seeing um uh hongo striking out every uh, striking out the first three batters uh, cuz we didn't get that in the manga I love that. And again, this is something uh, Doga did. And also Madhouse has been doing it in general. That um, And Doga did it with Senko-san too. Expanding on uh, the content given. Um, also, in this case, showing what we didn't um, get in the manga. Which is, is really, really nice. And also, god damn it, this animation just... it um, And how uh, Madhouse is doing the animation for each batter is different every time. It looks so cool. I really love that Madhouse is diversifying um, the, uh, the art style. It's really nice. And also the soundtrack is diversified um, in this case as well. And yeah, diversified also too. It's really cool. Oh, starting from the seven minute, like 37 second mark to the seven minute, 38 second mark. Oh my God, that is so gorgeous. I love this color palette. Oh, it goes from the white to the, um, the black and blue and, pur and purple. Oh, it's so freaking cool. And then we get the, the blue at the 7 minute 41, uh, 42 second mark. Oh man, this is really nice, Madhouse. I love this. Like at first I was thinking to myself, why, uh, because Hongo is expressing his anger. And I was thinking to myself, why are we not getting the same red aura that we got previously? And then I, I'm looking at the manga and um, the dialogue includes, uh, that Hongo is, and also it's the title, also the title of the episode too, a heaven blessed uh, baseball prodigy. And now that I'm thinking about it, that makes so much sense for why we're getting the bright uh, white background. But God damn it, it it's just frustrating me because it's like, dude, Madhouse, at least make the ball red or something. Have some red ore on the ball because he's, he's, um, He's uh, releasing his anger, releasing his emotions. Just do something with the red aura. Like, come on. It's really kind of pissing me off that they're not doing that.
But I will say this though, Matt, um, that I really like is Madhouse is really doing a sweet kick-ass job at the soundtrack. It's definitely reflecting um, Hongo's emotions, but God damn it, the animation is not. Well, the pitches are definitely reflecting it, but oh, it's just pissing me off that we're not getting it's like we're not getting that red aura, that frustration aura that we had last week. And it's just really frustrating the fuck out of me. Like, come on, Madhouse. Give me that give me that anger, goddammit. It even says in the dialogue that he's pissed the fuck off. W where is that? Like, as I said, I would have been happy with just the, you know, the red aura on the baseball. And like still you could still have the heavenly, you know, white background, but just Give me the red aura on the base. It's like when um he's pitching, just give me that shit. And plus, when you had the blue background, you know the blue background and stuff like that, it would have if he, they if Madhouse would have done the red aura on the baseball. Oh my god! Can you imagine how gorgeous that would have looked in the contrast with that? Oh, that would have looked so freaking cool. Oh, that was just a missed opportunity, Madhouse. I'm, I'm, I'm so disappointed you guys didn't do that. Okay, something I'm having a problem with, and this is with Samamora, like, at the 9 minute, like, 37, 38, starting around there, is Samamora's mouth. Like, the voice actor is perfect. He's definitely um, giving us the right um, uh, volume and, express, and uh, passion. But the problem is... And this is com especially compared to like with the uh, Chica's voice actor in um, in Kono O Tamer, is um, his mouth is not open enough. It's not because like if you look in the manga, his mouth is like wide open. It's ex wide open, but the eyes and everything else are correct. It's just the mouth is not right. It's supposed to be way um, op more open. You need to fix that, Madhouse, because like. He's a he's a, he's a big mouth, so please fix that madhouse. That, that's the only thing that uh, is, is bugging me. But otherwise, um, Salamora looks everything about Salamora is, is just fine. That ominous fog we got at like the nine minute forty six second mark <gasps> that looks so freaking cool. I love it. Sorry, I'm gonna be talking about the soundtrack right now, but holy shit, the soundtrack is so badass. Oh my god, I'm just. Again, I'm trying so hard not to head make to the soundtrack, but holy shit, it's just, ugh, this needs to be a one punch man, goddammit. Right, so at about the 11 minute, one second mark, um, we finished chapter five's adaptation, and now we're going into chapter six's adaptation. Oh god, this is when, oh, I forgot about this. Oh, the yips are coming. Oh, and something I forgot to mention that I'm really liking, again, I'm really liking that Madhouse is doing, uh, you know, in regards to expanding lore, I like that we're seeing um, the first years watching the game. I really like that. I, I know it's kind of, it's probably pissing some people off because they you, they want to get to the first years already. Um, but I I can't, and I know I want to get to the first years already too. I, I just want to get to Okamura already. God damn it! But at, at least we're getting we're you know seeing them. And we're seeing them watch the game and we're getting some dialogue already. So at least they're not leaving them out. It's better than nothing, goddammit. Looks like Madhouse is starting to up the pace a little bit and going with the manga's pacing. Oh, about fucking time, Madhouse. As much as I love like when they add some of um when they add content that uh, the manga doesn't have, and I totally understand why they did it um during the uh first inning like we need to pick I, I we definitely needed to pick up the pacing a little bit so good on you guys good madhouse thank god we're picking up the pace and not like having to sit through like hella more innings <laughs> yes the 13 minute 43 second mark there's my aura oh there it is yes oh we got the red aura so basically I see what I honest I see what Madhouse is doing. And I understand why um we're getting the kind of shit that uh that kind of animation that we're getting. It's because and I just totally realized it, is cause they're matching the manga basically panel for panel. And it's 
as much as I love that they're doing that, like, don't get me wrong. I really love that they're doing that. I really, really want them to go outside the box and be a little bit more creative, similar to what um, David Productions did with Captain Tsubasa 2018, and also I, also with what Doga did with um, uh, Senko-san, and also with uh, uh, what, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this right now, because Platinum Vision really fucked up Devil's Line before, um, previously, but, like, in a way, what, uh, um, Platinum Vision did to an extent with uh, um, Kono Oto Tamer. I really, really want them to, you know, use their creativity a little bit more. Because they're doing this, uh, doing a fantastic job going for the most part uh, panel for panel. But as I said earlier, if they would have done like, and we've seen this in, again with Captain Tsubasa 2018, when um, they were, uh, you know, when players kicked the goals, uh, for example, we like got auras on the ball and it looked really freaking cool. I need, I need like, as I said earlier, if they would have done the red aura around the ball um, when uh, Hongo pitched, it would have looked freaking cool. But, uh, Madhouse, I really love what you're do I love that you're matching panel for panel. I really, really do to an extent. You know, minus, um, you know, the content that you're adding. Um, but, seriously, please, please start getting creative. Please, we need more. We need more creativity with the animation. Sorry, I'm saying animation. I mean art, the art style slash the art. Okay, I have to say this right now because it is really starting to bug me. <sighs> Madhouse, you guys need to do, you guys need to really do better flashback animation. It's really starting to bug me because this, what I'm seeing right now is not, um, the flashbacks we've had so far have not been like real flashback animation. It's really starting to piss me off. Yes, you can make the argument that it's brighter than, um, the current animation, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like flashback animation to me. Like, you know how with flashback animation, there's like a certain um, kind of hue to it? Like, it, it just, this just doesn't feel like flashback animation to me. It just, it just looks like regular, you know, like it would be in present day, but just brighter. It just, it doesn't feel right. It's just driving me goddamn nuts. I will say this though, the transition into pre uh, present day though is really, really nice. And the snow coming down looks so freaking cool. This is nice for a snowstorm. Like what I, oh man, God, you know, it's just making me think of the freaking, God damn it. Why are you making me think of Captain Tsubasa 2018 constantly? Freaking Diamond No Ace Act 2. Um, it's making me think of the snow in um, uh, when we were in um, Hokkaido. That's what it, it's making me think of. Man, you could have done what what David Productions did with that um, uh, flashback. You could have done the really cool uh, cinematic noir flashback um, style of uh, um, style of art. Oh, why didn't you do that? Even though this looks really fucking cool, not gonna lie, but god damn it, this, because this is still, um, uh, a flashback. Oh, it's driving me goddamn nuts. Why? Why didn't you do that, Madhouse? Oh, that noir, um, cinematic flashback that we saw in Captain Tsubasa 2018, and it, again, this was a very, very, um, similar, um, uh, setting in a way, but this is just a little bit more badass looking. This definitely, with it, especially with the soundtrack. Oh, it would have been so fucking perfect here. Oh, this is goddamn killing me. I will say this: I do like the transition back in a modern day at the fifteen minute, like forty seven, forty eight second mark. That looked 
cool. And we got a little bit of static uh, like going on in the top and bottom part of the screen a little bit earlier, like at the 15 minute 44, 45 second mark. That looked really cool. But God, this 15 minute 48 second mark. Holy shit, that looks so fucking cool. I will give you that, but still, I, I gotta, I'm still gonna say it. That cinematic noir style would have looked so much better. I'm sorry. It just would have looked better. Oh, that 15 minute, 55 second mark. Oh, why didn't you go with the red? Why? Why didn't you go with the red? You should have went with the same red you had earlier. Oh, Madhouse. Ooh, we transitioned to the red. Ooh, okay. Okay, Madhouse. That that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. We went from, it was like if the 15 minute 56, 57 mark to the, uh, yeah, 15 minute uh, 56, 7 mark to the 15 minute 57 second mark. That was pretty cool. Going, but... Like, if you would have had, I think, I still think if you would have had the blue with the red aura, it would have looked way better. Not, uh, not on the baseball, per se. well, you could have still had it on the baseball, per se, but, like, had the blue in, um, in, like, the background, like, or the, basically the whole frame, and then had the red aura just surrounding, um, Hongo, and then he pitched the ball and had, and, like, still had the whole screen blue and then had the rat aura still going and just oh god on the baseball oh that would have looked so much better god damn it this soundtrack is just so fucking badass right now what the 16 minute 13 second mark we finish um chapter uh six's adaptation and now we're going into chapter seven's adaptation i gotta say i love the transition into uh Chapter seven's uh, adaptation of the manga. That's how, and this is like at the again the sixteen minute sixteen second uh, the sixteen minute seventeen second mark, and also that's something that and I gotta I'm I know I'm mentioning Kimetsu no Yaiba again, but goddamn it, it it's gonna bug me if I don't mention it. That's something that not only UFO table suffers from um su from with Kimetsu no Yaiba, um goddamn it uh freaking uh Jace um. Uh, yeah, JC staff suffers it with One Punch Man season two, and I would I want to say that uh, Studio Periot to an extent suffers it uh, from it you know, with Black Clover suffers from it too, and gotta say the freaking transitions are amazing in this anime. Correction: sixteen minute twenty two second mark is when we get to Chapter Seven's adaptation of the manga, and but I do like that we see the stadium. Um, first, and then we get a shot of the sky and then and the snow coming down. That was really a nice shot. Uh, really nice shots. I will say this, like, at like the 16 minute, like 50, 51 second mark, and it, hell, ever since uh, the uh, time I credit or earlier in the episode when we first see uh, Sawamura um, basically yell and his mouth wasn't um, open enough, his, uh, his mouth has been a, a little bit better. Uh, for the most part, but I want to say, yeah, the 16 minute 51 second mark, it looks okay. I just kind of wish the bottom part of his mouth was open just a little bit more. It just needs to be just a teeny bit, um, lower and then it would be perfect. Woo! Did you see that? The 17 minute, like 29, 30 second mark. We got that blue in the, um, in the background and the, then the red ball. You see what I mean? You see that shit? You see how much better that looks? S S Madhouse, you motherfuckers. You see what it, mm, you fuckers are fucking with me, assholes. But damn it. The only thing that's missing is I like, really wish the ball was like on fire. It, the red needs to be just a little bit brighter. But God damn it! I swear, Madhouse, you love fucking with me. I hate you guys. I gotta say this right now at the eight fifteen minute eighteen minute fifteen second mark. My man looks awesome. He looks badass as fuck. Like his eyes are glowing. It looks so fucking cool. Madhouse, thank you for making my man look, like, sexier than usual. I'm sorry, my man looks hot. Ooh, the 18 minute 43 second mark, we got that awesome black and white going on there. Ooh, that looks so freaking cool. 
I like that blue in, um, like the blue on the top, uh, and the white, like fog going on in the bottom. And this like in the background at like the 18 minute 53 second mark. That looks really freaking cool. And also looks really trippy. I got, I'm not gonna lie. Again, at the 19 minute, like 39, 40 second mark. Got that blue background with the red ball. You see how cool that looks? Freaking Madhouse! Why do you like fucking with me like this? I need more of that! It looks cool! Kids, well, actually, let me amend my wordings here. We needed that more of that earlier! Where the fuck was that? So, at the 21 um, minute, like, 6, 7 second mark, Veria's getting a red ball now. Okay, I'm going to wait till the end of this episode to give my thoughts on this, because this kind of is, is kind of pissing me off uh, what Madhouse is doing. Because this is a pitching duel, and, a good, and it's frustrating because they should have done what David Productions did. And I'm, I'll explain why after um, I finish this episode. Mainly because this video is getting really, really long. Longer than I wanted it to be. Okay, so um, we end uh, adaptation-wise um, at the end of uh, Chapter 7's adaptation of the manga. Okay, so let me talk about the good things about um, this week's episode. So there was nothing skipped writing-wise, which was freaking fantastic. And we even had time... Uh, Madhouse, I should, wording, oh my God. Madhouse even had time to add extra filler, um, which expanded on um, the content that was in um, uh, the manga chapters that we were adapting, which was really, really nice. Okay, and also the soundtrack it so much ass. I love this soundtrack. It is just, oh my God, it's so cool. Um, God damn it, it's making me, how the soundtrack is just glowing with the episode. It's just, it just makes me think of what David Productions did with uh, Captain Tsubasa 2018. And also, it's just, I just get really, again, as I said or at the beginning of the video, I just am getting really frustrated with um, the uh, anime community because people are just underestimating um, sports series. Um because the majority of um, the community, uh, or I should say, the majority of the Amer American anime community is more focused on the fantasy and uh, action genres. And they're just like, oh, sports, ew. And it just really pisses me off because they're not open-minded when we're getting, a, this is a really kick-ass uh, manga to anime adaptation. Um, and also, it, this is Madhouse. And you know what? I, I just feel, and the other thing is, I just feel like what Madhouse is doing is what they would have done for One Punch Man season two. I just really feel that way, especially soundtrack wise and to an extent animation wise. So now let me get to the um, things that were a little bit frustrating for me. Um, mainly, it was mainly animation wise that really, really frustrated me. And I got to compare it to Captain Tsubasa 2018. I have to do it. So, and also like a little bit of um, design wise. Before I get to the comparison to Captain uh, Tsubasa 2018, um, the main problem I had design wise um, or character design wise is, um, and it's just really goddamn frustrating me, is they're not opening Salamore's mouth enough. Um, because if you look in the manga, his mouth is just fucking wide open. It is, it's open goddamn wide. And it's just frustrating because the voice actor for Sal Moore is doing such a good job. And it's just, and like, the thing is, is between, um, compared to, uh, oh my God, to Sora in, um, Black Clover compared to his voice actor, which has been like pretty, uh, blah compared to how, um, he should be like what Salamore's voice actor is doing is what, and also the majority of the voice actors are doing in Diamond No Ace Act 2 is what Zor should be doing. As Zor's voice actor should be doing, and animation wise, um, and, and expression wise should be doing. And it just goddamn pisses me off that it's that this is not the case. Um, 
And also we get the comedic expressions too, which is something that um, UFO table isn't doing in Kimetsu no Yaiba, and that's really pissing me off. Okay, let me get to the other problems I'm having um, animation-wise in regards to comparing it to what David Productions did in Captain uh, Tsubasa 2018. Something that they did in Captain Tsubasa 2018, and this is in regards to um, when they were scoring goals or just passing the ball in general, like when it came, for example, when it came to like Tsubasa and uh, Koji Jiro. Um, it's a really good example. Like Subasa was, um, when he kicked the ball, it was like a blue white, a, like, like a light blue white. And sometimes it was gold depending on the type of kick he was doing. And then Kojiro's kick was like red and it was bass as fuck. Um, what I wish they would have done here was I really wish they would have done like, um, Hongo's pitch be like red Cause he's remember his, he is doing some, pa he is, emo he, it's passion and all that shit. He is angry as fuck. I wish it would have been red, his pitch, the ball being red and like had like a, um, similar to Koji Rose, uh, ball, like having like that flame going on. He it, 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 like this bright ass red or not flame. That's a bad wording. Like this bright red aura going on. I really, really wish that that was good. That was uh, what was going on with Hongos. Like with Faraya, um, what I wish they would have done was me, it was like the complete opposite. Um, or to an extent they could have, um, um, like they could have done the complete opposite where it was red with the blue, but I kind of, I was kind of thinking like, mm, it would have been hard, hard to do with the red with the blue. It wouldn't have, I don't think that would have worked. Like I at least like would have, if they didn't do like a background and they just did like the blue aura, that would have been fine with, for me, I would have loved to have at least like the ball being blue, like and have the blue aura uh, going on. It would because like with Captain Subasa, um, Subasa didn't have like a background um, like uh, we got in Diamond No Ace. It like it made a little bit more sense for Hongo compared to Faraya because Hongo's going through like this emotional shit and this anger and passion and all that, where Faraya kind of isn't. Um, compared to um, Hongo, uh, I would understand for Samoa. Samoa is a little bit different than uh, Faraya, but uh, Samoa would be a completely different story. I can't think of a, co a color palette at the moment off uh, the top of my head, but um, yeah, that I wish they would have done something like that, and just something that was really, really goddamn for. And what they could have done, especially in the case for Hongo, was they could have like built it up like they could have done what they did near um, the end of the episode where they had the blue background and they had the red going and they picked and did undone the pitching and then just like build it up a little bit um build it up as they went as the episode was going on because that that would have been pretty goddamn cool um as well or they could have done the opposite because that's when he was really really pissed off um, as well. And that would have been fine too. It's just, yeah, I just, um, and then the other thing that frustrated me animation wise was, um, uh, the flashback animation. Um, that was a really missed opportunity, especially, um, in the Hokkaido, um, Hokkaido portion of, um, the animation, uh, because, what they could have done with it was some, again, something similar to what David, and I mentioned it, um, something similar to what David Productions did was, um, had the, um, uh, the cinema and they kind of did it a little bit with the, um, uh, oh my God, with a little bit of the static, they could have done like this really cool cinematic noir, um, kind of style animation. And it would have worked so well because in the Hokkaido, um, uh, flashback um they um the players were struggling too to you know play soccer in the snow and it would have worked so well and it just pissed me off that they didn't uh didn't do it so like the and also like when we're getting the scenes of the players being shocked of what's going on um during the play something that i really wish um madhouse would do is kind of like slowly show like with, you know, like with a split screen and all that shit, like slowly have the split sc the screen going and showing everything. I think that would work out a lot better. Um, it, cause also, and also have like a different, um, color background for each one. It would look to me, it would look a little bit better. Um, but like 
overall, my main point is, because I, I know this video is getting really long, but I just, my main point is, is that even though they're doing, Madhouse is doing a really good job of, um, overall matching the manga, like panel for panel, I really, really want them to just like, um, go for it. I really will. And with the animation, I really want them to go for it because they have the, uh, dialogue down. They have, um, the, uh, character models down. Well, minus, you know, um, uh, Samoa's mouth to an extent. They have the character models down perfectly. They have the soundtrack down perfectly. I just want them to go for it animation wise and like utilize it and like give us like a little bit more um, diversity with the art style. And I just, I don't know what's going on over there. If they're just, if the, and I, I know that they're doing a really good, they're doing a fantastic job manga to anime adaptation wise this is the best manga to anime adaptation that um uh i would say uh this year fuck yes this is this is like on par with captain subasa 2018 um but the only reason why captain subasa 2018 is superior even though yeah there's content skipped is because david productions just went for it with the animation and i really really wish that fucking madhouse would do it I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you think Madhouse is doing enough um, with the animation? Or do you think that they just, do you think they're holding back a little bit? Um, like I do, like I'm, I'm talking about like with uh, the art style and they're not doing enough to, um, they're holding back a little bit. Um, and uh, what do you guys think of the, the soundtrack? And do you think like hopefully in the, maybe like next week or starting next week, uh, or, uh, or maybe they're just waiting a little bit to just like really go for it. Um, I don't know what's going, again, I don't know what the fuck is going on over there, but, um, I'm very curious what you guys think, um, especially in regards to like the writing, the soundtrack and the animation, especially the animation compared to like, um, Kimetsu no Yaiba or, um, Kota Otome or any of the other um, animes you guys are watching, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. That, um, if you uh, love what I'm doing and want to help uh, keep this channel alive or help me get a better webcam, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you. Uh, Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.